breaking news, though, to begin the show. The Ben Simmons saga continue, continues. The 76ers will not pay Simmons the $8.25 million owed to him today. This was the second payment of this season's $33 million rookie max extension. So, Wendy, in this situation, with it all playing out around this payment to Ben, what are you hearing? What, what is going on? Why did this happen? Yeah, so um, Ben Simmons and his uh, representatives were prepared for this news today. Um, they told uh, 76ers owner Josh Harris and team president Daryl Morey uh, during a meeting back in August uh, that if they decided not to pay him, that it would not change uh, his thinking and it would not affect his decision to want to be traded and not report uh, to training camp and play with the team. They have gone forward and decided not to pay him, which is a conundrum because we've never seen this in the NBA before. This is an unusual contract structure. Typically, NBA players wouldn't start receiving payments on their new contracts for the next season until November 15th. This was an advance payment. So really, what the 76ers are saying here is, we're not going to pay you for your salary through um, midway part of the season. And so it is um, It is definitely a throwing down of the gauntlet. And um, if, this wasn't a, if this wasn't already a, a war, this is a declaration of war that probably pretty much closes the door tight on Ben Simmons uh, having any interest in, in, in bridging this gap in reporting. Bobby, how do you weigh in on this? Yeah, I mean, I think what they've done is they've put this money in an escrow account here. And once he starts missing preseason games, which is starting on, on Monday, which is 227000 that he'll lose, it makes it a lot easier for them to deduct that. So if, if Ben Simmons is, misses the next, you know, let's say four games, off comes a million dollars of that $8.2 million that is owed to him. And I think if there was ever uh, a percent, if there was a 1% chance, let's say that Ben Simmons had a ch to go back to Philadelphia, I don't, think, I don't think that's the case right now. I think this is kind of the final blow here. I think what Philadelphia has said is that they're gonna put their, their feet in the sand and um, you know, either you're gonna come and report and you'll get paid or not, and withhold, we'll withhold your money. Zach, how do you feel about this situation? Yeah, I think today is, is, like Brian said, both a declaration of war and totally expected by both sides and by the players' union, which is being looped in on all of this because this is an unprecedented situation. I think along with withholding the money, the Sixers are going to send ben, ben Simmons' representatives and Ben Simmons himself a message. The money's here for you if you come and you pass your physical and you start participating in team activities. All the money comes back, all the money that we're allowed to still pay you comes back and we're just going to have to see how it plays out but but this in conjunction with Joel Embiid's comments yesterday and Joel spoke very eloquently for about four or five minutes about Ben Simmons some of which was positive but some of which was also um seemed sort of like Joel is fed up with the whole situation called it borderline disrespectful went back and talk about how we got rid of Jimmy Butler to appease Ben Simmons and his need for the ball and you're not here with us it does feel like we're reaching a breaking point here and the longer this goes the more it looks like the Simmons team is not bluffing about, yeah, we'll light $32 million on fire if that's what it takes to get out of here. Brian, let me ask you real quick. Does this expedite the process of a potential trade? Well, that's really the situation that is an unknown. Um, only the 76ers know what offers that they are holding. And I know that there hasn't been a lot of movement uh, publicly, but I was just talking to some teams in the last few days that say there's still dialogue going on. Um, but what I do think that this does is it is going to be another talking point. Now, the next time the Sixers face the media, the next time Doc Rivers faces the media, he's going to get asked about it. We just had a 24-hour news cycle about what Joel Embiid said. Now we're going to have a 24 to 48 hour news cycle about this non-payment and every single day that the 76ers camp is disrupted it again increases the pressure on them to do something about it now ultimately the results of the games are going to speak loudest but um, this is a being a very disruptive thing here we are a week into training camp and we have got daily reports on movements in this this is just not a way to run a team and it is not a way to be a healthy organization and that's the, the, the situation that they're in Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.